Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Let's get right into our first story. Black Ops 4 received an 11 gigabyte update today. But before we talk about what was included in said update, I think the more interesting part is what wasn't. This update was 11 gigabytes in size. For reference, the whole of DLC Pack 1 for Black Ops 3 is 9.1 gigabytes. This update today is significantly larger than a Black Ops 3 DLC Pack. This update is huge. Huge. 11 gigabytes is absurd for a single title update that just includes some basic weapon tuning and some other minor features which we'll discuss in a second. During the days of Black Ops 3, Treyarch did this all the time. They threw out a patch update that was several gigabytes in size, gave us the patch notes that said some balancing changes and stability fixes were included, and then a few days later, They'd unlock a bunch of new content, whether that be new weapons in the game or other new features that they just didn't bother to mention in the original patch notes. I think that that's what's happening here, that 11 gigabytes for some balancing changes is absurd. There's something we aren't being told that's included in this update, I reckon, and I hope that we will find out what exactly that is very soon. Now the line within the patch notes that's getting a lot of attention from the zombies community is this one here where Treyarch says, for zombies players we've made several gameplay improvements and fixes including, this is the interesting part, Easter Egg Quest fixes and increased XP earn rates for hardcore and realistic difficulties. A lot of people are saying, including Easter Egg Quest fixes, that must mean that they added classified into the game. What else could that possibly mean? Well, hold the phone for just a moment. That could refer to the Easter Egg Quest updates that they made for the Blood of the Dead main Easter Egg that they talk about here later in the patch notes where they change some of the animations and issues associated with both the powerhouse and the new industry step for that main easter egg. Now of course, like I said earlier, 11 gigabytes for some balance fixes and changes and stability updates is not what this patch is about. There's something else here. Now, if this is the classified easter egg being fixed from being glitched or unlocked or added into the game, we don't 100% know right now. There is a possibility that's the case, but I think the more likely option is that the easter egg has been in the game, it already is in the game, it was unlocked before, and that the extra contents of this patch might be for something else that we just don't know about yet. There have been a bunch of interesting leads discovered for the classified main easter egg that I'll talk about in just a second, but going back to the rest of the patch notes here, feel free to read these at your own leisure. I just want to point out to you guys the most important of the changes, that being the SG-12 now keeps its attachments when you pack a punch it. They fixed a bunch of exploit locations, including a glitch where you can keep your special weapon like the DG-5s or Death Machine out indefinitely, and they've also gone ahead and, thank the heavens, changed the UI a little bit for the zombies menu. Now it looks a little bit nicer, it still looks extremely boring in my opinion, but the changes they made to the Nebulian Plasma Laboratory button is positive, and same with instead of making custom mutations, that little options button, it now actually says custom games for custom mutations, so that must be a lot, lot less confusing for people just starting out with this game for the first time and wanting to try out these features. Okay, moving on to our second story of the day, an interesting find on Classified made by Reddit user Tim Bolas, where he noticed that between two spotlights near the electric trap on the top level of Classified, on the wood paneling, there appears this kind of swoosh symbol. Now, I think this would be nothing if this appears on a bunch of different wood panels around the top floor of the map, but this is the only location this marker appears on Classified on the wood panels. This marker is unique. Furthermore, it almost seems like the game itself is trying to hide the existence of this marker from the player. If when I move my camera down a little bit, just like the perspective you'd have of a player in game, suddenly that mark is basically invisible. Between the two pot lights right beside it and the dark kind of corner edges of the top of the floor here, 
you can't see this marking really unless you're looking hard for it or you find it in theater mode. The fact that it's the only one to exist on the map is kind of suspect to me and taking a look at the marking itself it almost looks like some waves kind of crashing I'm not exactly sure maybe meaning it's used for a hint for a certain step of the easter egg like, I don't know taking down zombies with the winter's howl right next to the trap or maybe using the trap near this thing and of course this could be nothing but we haven't found anything related to the main easter egg beyond what we know on classified yet we're grasping at straws here, and maybe that's the only way we'll actually find the steps to this egg. Finally, to wrap things up, yesterday I uploaded a video of an outside the map tour on the map 9, exploring and giving commentary to a bunch of awesome secrets outside of the map on 9 itself. It was super fun to explore. You can find a link to that video in the description or by clicking the eye icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Definitely go check it out. But that wraps up the news today, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching. Be sure to tippity tap that thumbs up button down below if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. A huge shout out to everybody that's part of the notification squad. Clicking on that bell icon. You guys are awesome, but I want to thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you with another Zombies News Update tomorrow. Peace.